Good morning, dear children. Welcome to the Social Science Class Basics. Today we will continue with History Chapter 1. That is, What, Where, How and When. In the previous video, we have covered topics like what can we know from our past? Some areas where people lived. What was the history behind the names of our country India? And how travelling from one place to another enriched our culture and tradition. So today we will discuss about the sources of history. What is the meaning of the word source. Talking in this perspective, sources of history, we can say something which we get to know about our past or it's it can be a medium through which we are learning about our past. So there are several ways of finding about the past. This lesson is teaching us two ways. So let's see what all are they. The first one is manuscripts. It's a source of history. Here is a picture of manuscript written so many years back. You can see that. Maybe we are not able to read it out because we are not sure with the uh, script and the language used. It was written so many years back. But let's see what does this manuscript teaches us. Manuscripts are books that were written long years ago. They were written by hands. The Latin word manu means hands. Today, if we think about of writing a book, we have so many options, right? We can type it and then later we can take out the printouts. So, it can come out in a very nice way. But those times, there was no multiple options. So, they used to write each and everything. Later, they were called as manuscripts. These manuscripts were written on palm leaves or on the specially prepared bark of a tree known as birch. These trees are grown in Himalayas. So today we write it on a paper. But those times... The leaves of plants or the barks of trees were used to write. What information does manuscripts give us? Over the years, some manuscripts were eaten away by insects and some of them were destroyed. Now why this might have happened? Can you think about that? Yes, we just shared it was written on palm leaves or on the bark of a tree. Right? So, that is not long lasting. Preserving that is very difficult. That is why some of them were eaten away by insects and some of them were destroyed also. But still, many were preserved in temples and monasteries. That is why we still have, uh, st we still ca uh, can see the pictures of manuscripts in the Google and all. So, these books dealt with subjects like religious beliefs and practices, the lives of kings, medicine and science, etc. Those times, what all beliefs they they were having or how the lifestyle of a king was at that time. All those things, what medicines they might have used. All these things were written in manuscripts. 
Besides, there were epics, poems, plays, dramas, etc. Which language was used to write the manuscripts? Many manuscripts were written in Sanskrit and some of them were written in Prakrit and Tamil. So even though here I am only mentioning three languages, there might be more. Prakrit was the language used by the ordinary people. Here you can see two pictures. The left hand side picture is a manuscript written in Sanskrit and the right hand side is a manuscript written in Prakrit language. So that's all about manuscripts. Another source of history is inscriptions. Inscriptions you all might have uh, seen. Because we all used to visit monuments and all. So in many monuments we can see so many inscriptions over there. Now what are inscriptions? Inscriptions are writings on relatively hard surface such as stone or metal. So they are engraved form of writing. It is not simply writing uh, on something it is engraved it is inscribed and what do they write kings got their orders inscribed so that people could see read and obey them so that was the main reason why they started inscribing the king he wanted the people to read out the orders Whatever he wanted to order them, he used to write it down. He used to inscribe it down so that people could see and read and they have to follow that too. <clears throat> what does inscriptions generally talks about? It generally talks about the records of victories in the battles. The kings, they often kept records of victories in the battle inscribed. Why? Why do they do? Maybe they wanted to be familiar throughout the world, right? That may be the one reason. So these inscriptions were safe and long lasting compared to manuscripts. Because manuscripts, it was written on leaves and barks, etc. But here, it is inscribed on stone or metal surface, etc. So, this was strong enough and nobody can destroy it easily. <clears throat> Let's see an example for this inscription. You all might be familiar with Iron Pillar in New Delhi, right? Where it is? Yes, we can see Iron Pillar of New Delhi in Kutub Minar. It was constructed by King Chandragupta II or maybe constructed for King Chandragupta II because <clears throat> this pillar is also having an inscription in Brahmi script and it describes the king as a strong believer of God Vishnu. So this was also built up so that some or the other way, the praises should go to the king. That was the main reason the kings and the queens, they used to inscribe things on stones or metal surface. So that all the positive things related to them, the world should know. Moving forward, now let's see. Who is an archaeologist? The definition is that people who study the objects that were made and used in the past. People who study the objects that were made and used in the past. They are called archaeologists. 
Now what kind of objects? They study about the remains of buildings, weapons, paintings, sculptures, etc. Some of these were made up of stones or baked clay, bones of animals, metals, etc. Now how did they get all these things? For that, these people, they explore and excavate. Excavate means digging under the surface of the earth. They have to dig out things from the earth to find tools, weapons, pots, ornaments, coins, etc. So whenever they get a thing, they do study on that object and they used to write the history. So that was the main job of an archaeologist. So archaeologist is a person who study the objects that were made and used in the past. Next is historian. Who is an historian? Historians are scholars who study about the past. Now what is the difference between a historian or an archaeologist? Historians refer to the information from manuscripts, inscriptions and archaeology. And they call these informations as source of history. So, the job of archaeologist is to excavate various objects and they study those objects and write the history. And as an historian, this person, what he will do? He will refer that writings along with other manuscripts and inscriptions. He will create his own understanding. That is a historian. I hope you, are, uh, you all are clear with who is an historian and a archaeologist. Let's move forward. Our past. You can see I have written a plural word. Our past. It means that the past was different for different groups of people. Right? If it's a plural, it means it is talking about more than one thing. If all the past is same, similar, then we could have used a singular form. But here we are using a plural form. It means there are differentiations. So what all are the differentiations? For example, the life of herder or a farmer were different from those of kings and queens. Similarly, the lives of merchants were different from those of craftspeople. Today also, throughout the world, we can see the same difference, right? There are so many customs, traditions, religious beliefs. Even the lifestyle of villages are different from that of cities. It means differences existed in present as well as past also. More about our past. History gives us lots of information related to kings and the battles they fought. Maybe because they keep records of their victories. That was the thing which we were discussing so far. But when we talk about ordinary people like hunters or farmers or gatherers or herders, what about their history? They did not keep records of what they did. Now what will be the reason behind that? Maybe they did not feel like the need of recording, right? Or they were not having any writing methods. There can be another reason also which we don't know. But the kings and queens, the lifestyle, the victories, everything was recorded very neatly. Next, let us see what do dates mean. Tell me today's date or maybe you can think what is today's date. How do we write that? 
we write in the form of day, month and year, right? For example, today is April 8th, 2020. So, we write it 8 or 0804-2020. So, we, we know that this 8 belongs to 8th day and this 4 belongs to 4th month. Then, what is the meaning of this 2020? It's, it's the year, right? How we are calculating this year? Can you think? Okay. Years are counted from the date generally assigned to the birth of Jesus Christ. So, 2020 means 2020 years after the birth of Jesus Christ. All dates before the birth of Christ was counted backwards and usually have the letters BC, that is before Christ, added on. Similarly, all the dates after the birth of Christ are counted forward and usually have the letters AD, Anno Domini, added on. For example, you can see here, it is BC 5, BC 4, BC 3, BC 2, BC 1. Birth of Christ is the sender. And from there, AD 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is starting. So you can see, AD is counted forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And BC, it is going backwards. I hope it's clear with you. Sometimes, CE is used instead of AD and BCE is used instead of BC. CE stands for Common Era and BCE stands for Before Common Era. So children, hope you are clear with today's topics. I request you to kindly note down your understandings and your doubts. So let's do a quick revision. So far we have learned about the sources of history. Two of them are manuscripts and inscriptions. Manuscripts are the handwritten books which were written long years back. It is written on palm leaves and bark of birch tree. Inscriptions are engraved form of writing. It was inscribed on hard surfaces like stones or metals. Archaeologist is a person who studies about the objects that were made and used in the past. Whereas, historian is a person who study about the past by referring different sources of history. Similarly, a past talks about the differences in the lives of kings and ordinary people. So, I am giving here just five questions. I hope you all will be able to write down the answers. Write any two difference between manuscripts and inscriptions. Next is, who is an archaeologist? Third, how lives of kings and common people may differ? This I think little bit you have to do your imagination too. Uh, you can, uh, you know, compare with today's life only. Is there any differentiation between the higher class and middle class and the lower class? The same difference they also might have. So, you can write down from your own imagination along with the, uh, you can mm, go through the video too. Next is, what were the subjects on which books were written in the past? And the last is, who is an historian? I hope you all will be able to write down the answers. Thank you so much. Take care.